Welcome to Conversations with LaDonna in association with Fire Media. This is the Peachtree Village International Film Festival edition part four. And today my guest is Jeremy Ray Taylor. He is known for his role in IT and IT Chapter Two, among many other projects that he's been involved with. So I'd like to welcome Jeremy to the show. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be here. I'm so glad to meet you. I'm excited to talk to you about your project and um, your short film, Unarmed Divide, yes. which was produced through Sling and Stone Films and yes. which is screening at the Peachtree Village International Film Festival this year. Yes, I'm so excited. Yeah, congratulations on that. That's thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. So it's always good to have your project selected for a film festival, right? We are yes. creative. We put so much energy and time into these projects. And then when it gets selected, it's just an honor to see that it's well received. So how excited were you when your film was selected for the uh, festival? Uh, it was a fantastic. I mean, it was, a, it was an amazing moment because I've always wanted to be a director. Um, and that kind of opened my eyes um, whenever I was acting, that I wanted to be a director. And I was with my brothers at the time. Um, and, you know, this is kind of a family affair. Uh, we all kind of did this together. And Sling and Stone is made up of uh, uh, my family. Um, and so there was a lot, of, a lot of love spread and a lot of celebration. And it was, it was, a, it was an amazing night. That's awesome. It, so it's a family affair. I think Benjamin was the cinematographer and yes. Christopher was the writer, correct? Yes. That is awesome. So you switched gears from acting to directing. What made you switch gears for this particular project? I think, um, I mean, this is our first project as Slain Stone Films. Um, so what I really wanted to do after working on so many projects, um, I've worked with some amazing directors and yeah. they definitely make it seem very easy because they're so good at their jobs. Um, yeah. And I figured out that that's not exactly true. It's definitely a very <laughs> difficult job and it takes a lot of uh, hard work and dedication. Yeah. Um, but it, it just made me really want to switch gears and, and seeing these people in their creative spaces made me kind of just want to step out and try something new. So I had a blast. That's exciting. So do you feel that you'll do directing again in the future? Absolutely. Yes. Um, I enjoyed it a ton. Uh, I'd like to be the director for Sling and Stone Films. Um, yeah, 100%. I love that. So Sling and Stone Films, where did that name come from? Is there a special meaning behind that name? There definitely is a little bit of a special meaning behind that name. Um, we're a religious family. Uh, okay. So we kind of, um, we've always loved the story of David and Goliath. I thought um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, we've, we're just from a small town in East Tennessee. Um, and you know, we don't have that much and I, and I made it into Hollywood somehow through that. Um, and we're very blessed and I think we just kind of wanted to take our minimal materials and, and try and defeat the giant of Hollywood. So. Oh, I love that. When I yeah. saw that, I, said, I know this has some reference to that, but I wasn't sure. Yeah. So I love that. And Thank when you I, very much. Your, yeah, I went to your social media, actually all you guys social media, just to get to know you a little bit better. And then I saw that in your social media, you had got first. Yes. Um, tell me how you apply that to your life, if you don't mind. I mean, it's applied everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. I was raised up in a religious family. Um, and, you know, we still go to church and always try and find time for that, even if we're working all, all through the week. Um, and yeah, I mean, you have to apply it to everything and everything happens for a reason. And I think one of the hardest difficulties of, of being an actor and getting into Hollywood in general is going through so much rejection. Yeah. And I think, you know, being a Christian, we know that everything happens for a reason and we, we pray for closed doors and, and hope that that kind of thing happens. So oh, always keep your head up and yeah. I love that. So let's yeah. talk about the film. The film is a military film with a message. Can you talk to us about what the attendees can expect from the film when they uh, watch it during the screening at the festival? Sure. Um, it's, a, it's a little sad. Um, it's, it's definitely a tearjerker, um, but it has kind of a happy ending. Um, it is about PTSD. Uh, my brother was in the Navy. Uh, my other brother was in the National Guard. Uh, you know, I have a lot, of, a lot of family that was in the military. Oh, okay. uh, so it's very close to our hearts. Um, and my brother's, my brother's wife actually has PTSD. So mm. it's very close to us. Uh, it's a very difficult thing. I don't know the exact statistics, but I know it's a very scary thing with, with suicide and things like that. And, and the difficult thing about it is like, 
anybody that's ever been in the military can have it, whether you've been in combat experience or anything. And yep. it goes outside of the military as well with, okay. with people from school and people that have been through traumatic experience with parents or, or anything like that. And PTSD is just such a broad thing. And that's what we really wanted to shine the spotlight on for that. But it goes for everyone. Absolutely. And, and, and I'm glad that you guys use your creative um, way to bring this to light. As creators, we like to tell different stories, and I'm glad you guys were able to do that because it is very, a very serious topic, and yeah. sometimes if you can portray it in such a way, people can grasp it and understand it. And I'm sorry to hear that a family member is going through that, as I know it's kind of challenging, right? And yes. um, yeah. So talk about you guys working together. There's a different vision people might have for a project as a director, the cinematographer, as a writer. How'd you guys come together to bring this project? Um, it's definitely difficult with family, uh, you know, because we're always working. I mean, if we're having family dinner, we're still talking about it. So you can never really get away. Um, so we definitely went through some difficulties, but but we mesh so well and, and we all get along very great most of the time. Yeah. Um, and we were all too excited to, to let anger get in the way or anything like that. So yeah, as a family, we just pushed on. I love it. So when we're when you're trying to put a project together, as always, have you have to have funding to do that? So mm -hmm. how was it for you guys with crowdfunding? How did that work for you guys? Uh, it worked pretty well. Um, we did not completely hit our goal, so we had to we had to pay a little bit on the back end. Um, but the cool thing about that is it's such a passion it's such a passion project for us. Um, and I've been blessed enough to to go through acting, and we've all kind of gained different skill sets from. The different parts of our lives and we kind of came together and and made that work with or without that yeah i love that i love that so how are things coming along for the red carpet premiere that's coming up this sunday they're coming along yeah i mean it's a little last minute uh but we're trying to pull it together um i just got fitted for my suit oh, nice. um, and we're going shopping today for some more so we're very very excited um it's gonna be awesome although you know with covid we're gonna have to maintain some masks and things like that but yeah. we're very excited to to have a last hurrah for unarmed divide yeah, I'm excited for you guys. I saw some of the footage uh, of the project. And I saw you guys talking about your premiere. So I'm very excited. Thank you. I'm going to have that going on, especially during this time, right? We yeah. still want to try to do these premieres, but we also have to be safe. So I'm glad you guys exactly. found a way to do that. Yeah, so thank you. Talk about the overall experience of making this film. What did this mean to you and your family to, to come up with the concept, film it, and then have it completed? Um, well, kind of from the beginning, we've all kind of had the idea of making a production company, but mm -hmm. we've never really known where to begin with that. Um, mm -hmm. So my brother actually decided that he kind of wanted to be an actor. And so that kind of just threw us into the hurling snowball of our production company. <laughs> um, that was kind of the last, the last straw. So we kept going. Um, my mom decided she wanted to executive produce. Um, Although I was an actor, I've, I've worked with many directors, so that was one of my passions that I really wanted to try. Yeah. My brother's always been behind the camera, um, and so he's always loved that. So we definitely just kind of grabbed our different skill sets uh, through the different things that we've experienced in life um, and came together and, and did it. And it was a blast. It was super fun. Definitely we'll do it again. Um, yeah. And we hope to make feature films someday. Yeah. That should be exciting. So I know you're just getting finished with this. Or you're not even finished with this one. Just one second. I think I lost okay, audio. No. That's strange. I think my headset may have died. Okay. I think that should be it. Can you hear me? Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> awesome. Well, we, we always know technical things can happen. So. Yeah, absolutely especially in this age, we've all had to get accustomed to Zoom and everything. Yeah. Life has changed so much. Have you yeah, done a lot so. over Zoom during the pandemic? I definitely have. Um, a lot of Comic-Cons have been canceled, so we've kind of moved those to online, which has been strange, but super fun. Um, yeah. And I've even had to do like ADR for movies in, in my own room, which is super strange, um, but I've, I'm loving it, yeah. Yeah, you still are working, so that's wonderful. You seem yeah. like you have a great career going for yourself, so I'm very excited yeah. for you and all that you have going for you. And now you have it going on with your family, so that is wonderful. Thank you. Outside of your project, you guys have taken some wonderful vacations. Now yes. you've gone to Paris to see the Eiffel Tower and the beautiful uh, Niagara Falls, which has been your best vacation. Wow. Um, Paris is really hard to beat. 
Um, I mean, it's such a beautiful place. Um, and the food there is amazing, which is really what I care about. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. Paris is very, very hard to beat. Um, but I think Hawaii was probably my all time favorite. Oh, I did see you guys went to Hawaii. I, yeah. I hear the sunsets and the sunrises are beautiful there. Unbeatable. That's for sure. That, that should be the next place location for a project for you guys. I'd love to. That's like my goal is to be able to have the money to just write projects wherever I want to go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. So um, do you guys have anything else in the works? I know you're just finishing up this project, but have you guys thought about something else that you might want to work on? Any concepts? Um, yeah, definitely. The snowball is still rolling. Um, <laughs> and we actually just came out with a brand new short film called Waves. Um, it's just a very little, it's a very small one. Uh, it's just three minutes. You can find it on my YouTube at Just Being Jeremy. Yeah. Um, and it's for my road reel 2020 and you can actually vote for our film if you'd like. Um, nice. so we're, you know, snowballs rolling. Um, and we have some projects that are being written and some bigger ideas that are hopefully going to be fulfilled soon. So do you think that you will write as well? I'd love to. Um, I, I kind of collaborated with Christopher, um, on Under Divide, but, but he okay. definitely took the, took the bull by the horns on that one. Um, but yeah, writing is, is also something I want to snap into and I I love every single arena in in the industry so I'd, I'd love to tap into all that. So how did Christopher do writing and acting so this was this his first time acting? This is his first time acting and his first time writing so uh -huh. brand new for for almost everyone um, and yeah he he did super well uh, we had our amazing acting coach um, Jose Vasquez he uh -huh. helps amazingly um, he's also in the film as well um, so yeah with with me and Jose we kind of molded him and, and, and tried our best to, to teach him. And, and he did great on the writing part for his first time ever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, it's, we're very blessed to, to just be giving all these talents. We're, we're very excited about it. That's awesome. I saw uh, the footage of him crawling through the grass and putting the stuff on his face. Yeah. I'm like, this is going to be really, really nice. I look forward to seeing it during the festival. That's awesome. Thank you. So before we go, I also know that you have a little addiction, Jeremy. Okay. To top golf. Ah, I do. I do. I like definitely wherever do. Wherever you go, you try to find out, to find your top golf. So when did you become a top golf addict? <laughs> that was, I think, in 2018, mid 2018. Um, is when I found Top Golf, and I I played once, and then they they called me up and they were like, "Did you enjoy it?" And we we're like, "Absolutely." Yeah. They were like, "Why don't you be an ambassador for us?" And I was like, "Yes, please." Yeah. Um. So so ever since then. Every single place that I try and go to, I always try and find a top golf. And I usually go like for like six hours at a time. It's bad, but it's amazing. <laughs> I love yeah. it. When I saw that, I, said, I love it because I love top golf and I love their salad, the food and music. Everything yes. is so good. Everything about it is just perfect. I love it. It is. Yeah. Um, well, do you have any last words about acting, writing, directing, cinematography, or your film? Um, I think the main thing is just I, I really hope everyone enjoys it. I hope it spreads the right message. Um, and, and I hope people feel, feel okay for, for veterans and I hope they, they feel as though they can speak up after this. Yeah, definitely. I'm so glad that you're using your platform for a positive uh, thing because uh, we definitely need to take care of our veterans because they take care of us, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And this is just another way to support them and all that they do. Absolutely. So this concludes this episode of Conversations with LaDonna. And remember to register for the Peachtree Village International Film Festival so you can take advantage of all the workshops, the panels, the screenings, and make sure you check out their film. And uh, it's October 29th through November 1st. Remember that every day is not perfect, but every day is a blessing. And try to find the joyful moments in them and enjoy. Jeremy, it's been a pleasure talking to you. I wish Thanks you guys much success on all your projects in the future. I'll be keeping an eye on you guys now that I'm following you on Instagram as well. And um, wish you much success with Waves and this project. And I look forward to you directing more in the future. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as well. Bye. Bye.